Chumri is a musical genre that gained prominence in the 19th century in the court of Nawab Wajid Ali Shah of Awadh. The Nawab patronized musicians and dancers and poets in his court and was himself a musician and composer of considerable merit. One of the most beloved Tumris of all time, an archetypal one, is Babul Mura Neher Chuto Hijai. This Tumri in Rag Bhairavi depicts a bride departing from her home to go to her husband's house, Bidai as it is called. Four men lift my doli, the palanquin, and I am leaving behind those who were my own. Pathos, longing, yearning, hope, nostalgia, fear, anxiety, vulnerability, all these emotions are contained in the few lines of this Tumri. More poignantly, it is believed that the Nawab composed this Tumri when he was to depart from his beloved Lucknow, when the British exiled him. So what is Tumri? It is primarily a compositional form that expresses and explores the multitudinous hues of Shringara, romantic love. Most of the Tumris, most Tumris are based on the theme of romance. Tumris are also set in ragas and talas, but they are not regarded raga sangeet because the Tumri presentation is not concerned with ragas grammatical and correct presentation, but it freely bends the rules of the ragas in the interest of evocative expression of the lyrics of the composition. It is for this license with ragas that we often uh, find description of Tumris as being in the raga Mishra Khamaj or Mishra Shivaranjani etc. Mishra means mixed, suggesting that the raga will be mixed with other notes, phrases not belonging to it in the interest of um, emotive exploration of the text. And it is for the same reason that Tumri is not regarded classical music, but is called semi-classical or Upashastriya. Tumri is also significantly less austere and restrained in employing various ornaments and other devices to express the emotions packed into the text. Tumri is more explicitly concerned with evoking emotions than Drupad or Khayal and is therefore it's sometimes described as Bhava Pradhan that is uh, a form in which expression and evoking of emotions is a central concern. And for the same reason it also lends itself to the Abhinaya segment of dance forms like Kathak. Indian classical dance forms uh, have an Abhinaya segment in which compositions are rendered in dance through stylized gestures, body movement and mime. In fact, the word Tumri derives from the word Tumakna, which means to dance. And uh, Tumri singers of an earlier generation would often also perform Abhinaya while singing and Tumri is therefore also called Abhinayatmaka Sangeet. Tumri uh, nestles in the intersection of folk music traditions and art music. It has close links with folk songs such as Chaiti, Kajri, Hori, Savan, Jhula, etc. These names evoke seasons and festivals. Chaiti, for example, is a month of Chaitra, the harvest season. Hori is of course a festival of colours. Jhula and Savan are associated with the monsoon and we have song forms that are called Jhula, Savan, etc. And these songs are sung in celebration of various seasons and festivals. And these songs too are rendered in the Tumri idiom by singers. But Tumri is also heavily improvisational, much like Khayal. Because it's very stylized 
and its technique and aesthetics is quite different from Khayal or Dhrupad. Here in Tumri, the emphasis is on the text and improvisation consists entirely of stylized variations of the text. We do not speak of Ragavistar or Badhat here because the concern is not the Raga. In the context of Tumri, we use the phrase Bol Banao, that is it is a leisurely and expansive forays into improvisation using the text of the song, which is found in the Pura or Banara style of Tumri singing. Some of the greatest performers of Tumri performed the Purab or the Banara Sang. The other style of Tumri, uh, Tumri singing is a faster and uh, more light footed Punjab style, which too has had great performers like Vistad Bade Gulam Ali Khan Sahab. Some links to Tumri performances by its celebrated performers are given below for you to listen to at your leisure. Tumris are generally in less weighty ragas like Hamaj, Pilu, Bhairavi, etc. Or it is possible equally that since these ragas have such a strong presence in Tumri with its lax treatment of ragas, these ragas have acquired a less weighty persona. In any case, these ragas are regarded lighter. The thalas used are also specific to this idiom such as the 14 matra deepchandi or the 16 matra adhatintal and chachar. The tumri composition also has a sthayi and an antara and uh, is also presented in a, in a way similar to the khayal format because the first the sthayi is rendered followed by uh, improvisation using the bowl and then the antra mukhda is sung more bowl banao after which the antra is rendered fully and then the sthai is uh, sung again and here there is a very unique feature of tumri called laggi we have a sudden change of pace when the Tabla goes into what is called Lagi. Uh, and here, fast, uh, that is, these, these are in quadruple speed of the original speed. The patterns are in four times the speed of the original speed. And these patterns are played with variations while the singer also improvises in rhythm to then round off and uh, finish the presentation. The Lagi is very unique to the Tumri idiom and is indicative of uh, Tumri's strong links with dance. So let us listen to Nirbhay Saxena who has learned from Srimati Girija Devi. He has uh, learned Tumri from Girija Devi who was one of the most celebrated performers of this genre. Abki Savan Ghar Aja. This is a widely performed Tumri in which the Naika is imploring her husband or lover to come back to her during this season of rains. Rains are when lovers are supposed to be together. She pleads with a crow to carry a message to her lover. Udijari kaga leja sandesva. You will notice that the mukhda is on a that abke savan ghar a. Please also note the Lagi at the end. Now we are presenting a Tumri and this special Tumri is from Purab or we can say the Banaras Gaiki of Tumri. So first I will tell you the words of this Tumri. Ab ki savan ghar aja piya more and Antra is उड़ जा रे कागा ले जा संदेशवा तोरी सोने चोंच मड़ैयो दिस ठुमरी इज कंपोज्ड इन राग मिश्र तिलक का मौत एंड आई एम सिंगिंग दिस फ्रॉम मध्यम मींस माय साइज मध्यम एंड 
the taal of this thumri is jat the another name of this taal is chachar this is of uh, 16 beat and uh, usually used in madhyale not too low not too fast so i'll just demonstrate you dha din dha dha tin ta tin dha dha din dha din dha dha tin ta tin dha dha din so this was tal chacha Thank you.